beneath layers of translucent wax. Artist Karina Alvarez de Lugo seals in place the vivid memories of her Venezuelan past. It represents the lack of freedom in, in my home country. And behind there are nice colors and nice visuals. There are birds, there are animals, there are flowers, there are boats, there are monkeys, there are all these things happening behind that barbed wire. But whether it's the tangled coils of a government barricade she calls the Red Wall, or a welcoming portal known as Utopia One, or her stoneware and steel statement on human rights, each of her works is inspired by the shape, rhythm, or motion of the perfect circle. In a sense, it's my safe place. It's where I feel safe and at the same time I feel relaxed. And it also connects my inner and outer world. The circle is not, it's not the message, it's the mean to carry the message. And that's how I see it. Most recently, those circles of life have guided a series of encaustic mixed media paintings called Remendando Mi Patria, Mending My Country at the University of St. Joseph. They invited me to be part of their Noche Latina event for the Hispanic Heritage Month. I said, well, this is my time to speak up. Using pastels, ink, and oils, and built with scraps of textured fabric, remnants from home she gathered more than a decade ago. Karina's newest collection interprets the roots and reality of a much altered Venezuela dating back to the Hugo Chavez dictatorship of the late 1990s. My country needs mending. It needs to be patched. Our people needs, need to be taken care of. And that's why the, the pieces in the collection, they all look like patches. So for this project, I said, well, what better way to do it but by using the same piece of fabric of things that meant something to me at some point and to my family. But not so long ago, creativity in Karina's world as a young homemaker meant making dresses, sewing, and mending. In my family, they wanted me to stay raising kids and not pursue my career. And although she learned about painting from her father-in-law, the artist, it remained a hobby at best, an unfulfilled passion dating back to childhood. Ever since I was little, I used to uh, draw and paint and instead of doing schoolwork. So that one said, no, no, you have to do the schoolwork. You can't be just drawing and painting. And I, I still hold a report card from elementary school years where the teachers complain in, in the report card that I was drawing and painting instead of paying attention in class. As a young mother of three, with an extended family involved in Venezuelan politics, life under the new regime had become extremely dangerous. It was not, not a life for my kids. They couldn't go out without a bodyguard, they couldn't do anything without a bodyguard, and they were little. They, they shouldn't be growing up in that situation. So with previous family ties to Yale, New Haven became a new world destination. Soon, art school became the next step in a new reality in Karina's circle of life. So how many layers do you end up putting on? It all depends how, much, how, how far I want my, my background image to be. Today, Alvarez de Lugo is an emerging international artist based in the Elm City with previous exhibitions in South America, the Caribbean, New York, and across the U.S. As for her signature style, well, the power of circles is ever-present. Even the Mayan god of Coco is protected by Karina's circle of life. That one's different. What's that? It's my love for chocolate. But it always comes out in my work somehow. <laughs> I carved into the clay a Mayan god for Coco. I display the piece with cocoa chips and actual cocoa seeds in there. 
to add to the whole sensorial experience. Stop, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> we have to stop right now. In her new world, creativity has given Karina Alvarez de Lugo a more resonant and far-reaching voice. I think we have a powerful tool because people are going to come and see your art. So when artists take a stand, people listen. This Connecticut artist is definitely being noticed and heard round and round the world. For Spotlight on the Arts, I'm Ed Wurzbicki.